Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'd like to do a quick comparison with the Intel i7 5820K versus the i7 5930K versus the i7 5960X. All three processors are Intel Haswell eCPUs that aren't exactly cheap. But there's quite a price difference between these processors. Therefore I thought a comparison could help certain people with their choice. I know this video is a bit late, but the importer that helps me out by letting me test hardware in their building sometimes has just gotten all three of them at the same time. They gave me a call and here I am now doing a quick comparison for you. Without further ado, let's get to the benchmarks. Alright, first of all, we all have to agree, these are some pretty good CPUs. Still, there's quite a performance difference noticeable here and there. In rendering, also in video editing, of course the 5960X just has to take the crown. It does it much, much faster. Surprisingly, there's still a performance boost when paying more for an Intel CPU, which is impressive. A couple years ago that pretty much would have been impossible, an i5 was able to get roughly the same amount of FPS as an i7. Now we even get to see FPS differences with i7s. The power consumption on idle is the same on all three CPUs. On load, the 5960X consumes the most power, with the 5930K being in the middle and the 5820K being the processor which consumes the fewest power of all three. Still, in terms of performance per watt, the 5930K wins here, since it only consumed 9 watts more than the smaller 5820K. The most interesting thing here is the price performance ratio though. In my opinion, the 5820K has the best one, since it also features a fully unlocked multiplier, so you could overclock it to get close to the 5930K's offered stock performance without paying the actual price of the 5930K. To be honest, that's a quite difficult comparison I'm making here today and I don't want you to rely on my opinion only. Please decide for yourselves. Which CPU of these three do you think is the best one when considering price, performance and power consumption? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, this wraps this video up I guess. Hopefully this video could help someone out there to make the right decision. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.